<laughs> Hello, welcome to the HBO Screening Room. I'm Francis Lawrence here with Jennifer Lawrence and Joel Edgerton, and we're going to watch a scene from our new film, Red Sparrow. When I was in Moscow, they talked about a program that Khrushchev had set up. Young officers trained to seduce and manipulate. They called them sparrows. The thing I just cannot wrap my head around is why a man would put his niece through something like that. I was told to take a man to a hotel to get the information. And in exchange, my mother would get the doctor she needed. Instead, they cut his throat. And he died on top of me. There could be no witnesses, so my uncle gave me a choice. Die or become a sparrow. What they did to Marta was a message. And cut her open to show me what they'll do to me if I don't give them what they want. What do they want? A name. They think you're running an agent. What do you think? I don't care. The men that you work for, men like your uncle, they'll never let you go no matter what you give them. It's how they function. You only matter because of what you can do for them. You don't exist unless they say so. God, it's off the charts, our chemistry. Mm. Um, we had to dial it down <laughs> uh, pretty much, right? <laughs> I didn't. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. Yeah. Part of what I really like about this scene is that they're both actually telling the truth, but you still are left wondering what are their motivations for telling the truth and what do they really want from one another. I mean, it, it's such an interesting love story because it's kind of like, how can you trust a thief? You know, we both want something from each other, but at the same time, we can both only trust each other for the same reason. It creates an interesting dynamic. There's something to what he has to offer her and, 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 and in return that then also kind of blurs the line of, I actually care for you. And I think because Nate it represents a man unlike the other men in her life that have just used her. She definitely doesn't have a choice to go to the program, but I think in going to the program, she learns these skills, and it's kind of the biggest mistake that they've ever made because she's incredibly smart and, and she becomes their most dangerous asset. I understand where she has come from and, and what training she's had at the Red Sparrow School, but I, I'm also, I guess, trying to make my play and pitch to bring her across to our side. For her to, to be able to get revenge on the men that put her through the place. I mean, it was terrifying and exhilarating. The waterboarding scene he originally told me was really gonna be freezing cold water in a freezing cold room. And I was like, but no. And then he was like, well, it'll steam up. And I was like, no. So he, we made it like humanly lukewarm, which I think you can still see steam. So that's my fault. No, we added breath. You can't see Oh, steam. you did? So okay. We also shot the film entirely on location. We didn't spend any time on any sound stages. We didn't really build any sets. So it was really uh, invigorating to go into these real you know, buildings and, and decorate them out and sort of exist in real spaces. But we made sure that there was a very distinct color palette that runs through the film. We use a lot of red, primarily when we're in Russia, and sort of veer away from that a little bit when we, when we go to Budapest. The story itself was just so interesting and unique, and it really blew me away. And, and scared me, which is always a good thing. Thank you for joining us in the HBO Screening Room.